freaking read. I love reading. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my couch slash kitchen area. I'm not quite sure if I like this setup, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing videos here more frequently, I don't know, but I rearranged my room, so my little area that I usually sit in is no longer there. So, I have a lot to update you guys on. I have been working, as you guys know, a part-time job, but this week they needed me Monday through Friday, so I'm actually like never home, especially for this week, and I thought I was gonna have time to film some videos for next week. I have Thanksgiving next week, and I'm actually going to North Carolina for a week to be with my family, so I'm not quite sure if I'll have time to upload videos for next week. Not like guaranteed, but if I don't post videos next week, I might just throw in extra videos the following week. What I'm thinking that I'll have done is obviously this video, which I'm filming after work, which is why I just didn't have time to like play around with the backgrounds and such, but um, yeah, I don't usually film this late, so it's kind of interesting to film this late, especially after a work day, oh my god. I wanted to get a video out for you guys today, and then I also wanted to film at least a vlog next week. I haven't even vlogged at all and I'm gonna be filming videos this weekend. You guys, my whole schedule is just so messed up, honestly, because they needed me Monday through Friday and I took it, so ay ay ay. I might have a vlog up, I might not. I'm pretty sure I'll have a Manifestation Wednesday video up next week. I have one scheduled, I just have to film it this weekend and I just have a lot going on. So that's my quick life update. So today's video is going to be my favorite self-help books. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, seven? I have seven of my favorite self-help books that I wanna share with you guys. I usually post what I'm reading onto my Instagram and Snapchat, so I'll pop them somewhere on the screen if you guys wanna follow me there. I really like to read one self-help book and then like one fiction fun book. So the ones that I'm currently reading now I'm obviously reading Harry Potter. <laughs> I've been reading Harry Potter for quite some time now. I'm on the fourth book, I think. It's like this big, so I don't know when I'm gonna be finishing that. But the other book that I'm reading, a really powerful book, Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth, Awakening Your Life's Purpose. This book is amazing, and I'm only on page 64 because I've been so busy lately, so I haven't really had time to read. I try to read a little bit every night. I've learned more so far in this book than I have in all of these other books that I'm gonna share with you guys. This is a very powerful book. It makes you rethink your whole mindset, rethink who you are, it talks about the ego, your subconscious mind versus like your true self, your egoic, is that the word? Egoic self. It's honestly crazy and it makes you look at things differently, it makes you look at people differently, it makes you look at yourself differently. It's super interesting. So he describes it as like your ego or who you are is the voice inside your head, but your true identity, your true self is the awareness that hears your thinking and your thoughts. So that voice in your head, like if you say, I am tired in your head, whoever heard that, that's your awareness and that's who you truly are. The thought process of what you just said in your head is your ego and that's not your true identity. So it's like really super interesting. I really recommend it if you guys are into that, like you guys like to learn more about like a truer meaning of who you are. This helps you realize that that's not even you and like to detach from your thoughts and associating yourself or yourself with a particular lifestyle. So it's really, really interesting and I've learned more from it, like I said, in just 64 pages and it's truly already changed my life. Eckhart Tolle expands on these powerful ideas to show how transcending your ego-based state of consciousness is not only essential to personal happiness, but also the key to ending conflict and suffering throughout the world. Tolle describes how your attachment to the ego creates the dysfunction that leads to anger, jealousy, and happiness, and shows readers how to awaken to a new state of consciousness and follow the path to a truly fulfilling existence. It's pretty cool. I really, 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 really highly recommend this book even though I'm not even done yet. So the next book, Pretty Happy by Kate Hudson. It's just really pretty, like the pages and stuff. You know how celebrities like make books like this and it's like their biography basically, like who they are or what their lifestyle is. This book is all about how to be happy. Um, if you guys know anything about Kate Hudson and her mom, Goldie Hawn, they're always smiling, they're always happy, and this kind of goes into all the mind, body, and soul into being happy. She explains like mindset, she explains how food can help, exercise. She has like four pillars 
um, of health. So pillar one is cultivate an intuitive relationship with your body. Pillar two is to eat well. Pillar three is awaken your body. And pillar four is the miracle of mindfulness. So she talks about like meditation, the importance of food, the importance of loving yourself, the importance of happiness and being happy and smiling. Um, it's just amazing. And when I was reading this, I would honestly read this when I'm ever in a bad mood and it just instantly puts me in a better mood because it helps you, you know, just be happy with who you are and not to apologize for that. And it's just a really, really great book. Plus it's super beautiful and I love Kate Hudson so it's a good staple piece for like a decor in your home I actually leave this underneath my TV stand so the third book that I have here I haven't I'm not gonna lie to you guys haven't really kept up with it but I remember going through this I think I got through half this year um, but it's a uh, daily mantras so it's a find your happy daily mantra so they have one for every single day of the year the only thing that I don't like about this book is that it has the days numbered as like one, two, three, four, not like January 1, January 2, because every year the days kind of change, but I got a little bit lost and I'm so OCD that like once I like lose my place or once something is like messed up, I'm just like, no, I had to start over and I couldn't start over and I kind of just lost track of it, but it's basically a mantra that you read every day. So I'll read you guys the first day. So this would be January 1st of next year. So it says day number one, I am brave and courageous with my heart. And then it tells you like a kind of little paragraph. If you have any doubts or concerns, now is the time to release them. You may not feel ready to step into this phase of your life, but you are more prepared than you realize. Let your courageous heart guide you. And then it gives you kind of like an affirmation related to that topic for the day. So you kind of read it out loud to yourself. My heart is my compass for a happy life. Is there any area of my life I'm unsatisfied with? Now is the time for me to trust myself and my heart. My heart will always lead me to the right solution to overcome all challenges. I am brave in my undertaking as I move forward with confidence. All of the fear I feel will be removed when I listen to the pulse of my dreams in my heart. And then after that, it kind of asks you a question to kind of get your mind to visualize based on the topic. So this one says, where is my heart guiding me? And it kind of gives you a thought to kind of journal. Um, a great journal entry would be good for that. And it's just a really great book because there's one for every day. And I remember every time I did it, it would somehow relate to my day. So it's a really, really great book and I really highly recommend this. This would be a really good Christmas present or holiday present, whatever you celebrate. It's just really great because it's, it's fun, it's like a journal thing, it has affirmations, it's like three things in one. It's really cool and I really love this book. So the fourth book that I have here is The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. This one is a pretty interesting book because it's like my first self-help book that I've ever bought myself. I went into Barnes and Noble, I went into like the non-fiction side, it wasn't even like the most popular side, and it said six million copies sold. I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm getting it. And this is probably one of the best self-help books that I've ever experienced because it kind of goes through your mindset and it could be related to business, it could be related to happiness, like you can relate it to kind of anything. But the thing I like about this is that he has like outlines of certain things that he talks about. They're not just like chapters, like he has outlines, like one, two, um, kind of like step-by-step -step guide on how to do things, which is really cool. He has like, when he's talking about fear, he has a type of fear, the action to take for that fear. There's just lots of graphs and outlines and stuff. So it's super organized and I love anything organized, especially when it's like a self-help book because it can be kind of overwhelming when you're just given all this information. He kind of steps it out for you. So he talks about marriage, family life, community, success, failure, creativity, believing you are what you think. There's some law of attraction stuff in there. Attitude, victory, defeat, dreaming, leadership. It's a really great book. Um, it's an easier read too. It's not too intense. It's just a really good book and I really highly recommend it. So the fifth book that I have here is You Are a Badass. Again, she kind of outlines Jen Sin Sincerka. I don't really know how to pronounce her name, but she kind of outlines um, her information too. Like she'll do like one, find compassion, two, and again, like I said, I'm a super organized person. So I like when things are just written down step by step for me. And it's like every single chapter, every single chapter ends with love yourself. So it's just like really good. And the way that she talks about things, she's like a no bullshitter. So like she says things point blank. Like that's why it's called you are a badass. Like she just doesn't give a it's just a really great book and the way that she talks about it, it's kind of like a duh kind of thing. And she throws in some law of attraction stuff in here. So she, there's like different parts of you are being a badass. There's um, how you got this way, how to embrace yourself, 
how to tap into the mother load, how to get over your BS already, how to kick some ass. So there's like five steps and each one goes through it. She talks a lot about um, the law of attraction. I don't think she specifically says anything about the law of attraction, but it's kind of like when the magic of thinking big, like it says here, you are what you think. That's kind of what she does here. Like she'll throw in phrases that are like, Law of Attraction concept. I'm sorry about this. So the sixth book that I have here is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Blank. This one's kind of like You Are a Badass. I like You Are a Badass better, um, but this guy kind of just gives a no bullshit answer too. Some people don't like the way that it's written because he is very kind of like to the point, more so um, than Jen Sincerico. But he talks about history, he talks about emotion, and he talks about his kind of stories positive thinking and he's saying F positivity, let's be honest. He talks about like winners and losers in society, fears, faults, uncertainties, confidence. He's not like, oh, everything's happy and go lucky and do this and you'll be happy. Like he's like, no, this goes wrong. This is what happens. You can't give a F so much. Like he's just very to the point. So the last and final book that I have, I haven't read in quite a while. It's The Four Agreements. This is more of a spiritual book and he talks about the four agreements to like a happy life, to freedom and stuff like that. And the four agreements are be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions and always do your best. And he kind of goes into depth of each one of these and it's kind of like a lifestyle kind of book. I read this in one day, so I think I'm gonna try to read it again pretty soon. You gain so much knowledge and wisdom from these books. I definitely want to be reading more self-help books, so maybe in the next few months I'll do another round two if you guys want that. Give this video a thumbs up, let me know. I just read a comment to read the Abraham Hicks book, so I definitely put that on my list for the next set of books to read. Yeah, make sure that you guys are reading, learning every day. Self-help books are so amazing. Even if it's just like these little daily mantra books, this kind of makes it easier because you just have like one page to do a day and you're learning and you're growing and you know, you're increasing your spirituality and mindfulness. So it's just really cool and I, I love reading. Doesn't everyone just love reading? I wish that I could like literally pause time and just read because sometimes I read and I'm like, I don't have time. Like I only have an hour, I gotta do this. It's like, I just wanna like pause time every time I read and just freaking read. I love reading. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys and I hopefully will see you on Monday. If not, enjoy your Thanksgiving and I love you guys so much. Bye guys. Thank you.